There's a little town named Little Valley, and that town is filled with scandal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Acme Comedy Theater's improvised soap opera Scandal, now in its 19th season. That's right, we've been doing this a long time. But don't ask us what's going to happen tonight, because we have no idea! Now let's meet our cast of characters. A random sampling of eight citizens of Little Valley. She was sent away on a special envoy to Big Mountain. She's returned to find her lover gone, and in this place a large sum of money. What's in store for? She's the mayor. She's been caught in a torrid love affair with Little Valley's oldest beaver scout. How can she clean up Little Valley if she likes so much to get dirty? She's... Cindy Rossi! <laughs> He's alone. He's so alone. On the outskirts of Little Valley. They've banned smoking. They've banned drinking. They've banned stockbrokers. Because some citizens still didn't get it, they literally banned... George Morgan! <laughs> he fell in love with a girl from the wrong side of the Cat 5 cable. I don't know what that means either. But true love doesn't track IP addresses, and that's bad news for... Dusty Rainbow. Aww. She watched her father die in her arms, and her own secret lover bested her in Little Valley's Raspberry Festival Frozen Dessert Division. Things can't get much worse for... He's a captain of industry, Little Valley's favorite son self-proclaimed. And the recent winner of Little Valley's Raspberry Festival's Frozen to Brook Dessert Blue Ribbon, he's... Charles Winston Morgan. That's his name. And don't you forget it, because he might. He's a faithful beaver scout and a dutiful henchman for Winston Morgan. Loyalty runs deep in the Morgan family and it runs out the fists of... Timmy Morgan, bitches. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a beaver with attitude. All he's ever wanted is a mother's love, and the love of a good woman to be his wife, and the lifetime supply of free gelato. He's... Randy Pausch. <laughs> Together they run the small games tavern, protect the mayor, run the gelato shop, and the ice cream bar, go beaver scouting, whatever else happens in Little Valley, it's up to these two men. Good thing for them, Little Valley is a little town. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hang on to your hats and glasses, because you're about to get a flight of office, where Stephanie Shambles, the mayor's cleanup commissioner, is returning from her special ambassadorship to neighboring and rival town, Big Mountain.
survive now that you're the Little Valley Raspberry Festival. Oh, I can't give you propose to me, eh? I be your wife and we make love all the time, eh? and I have the same right as you have. <laughs> <laughs> Outskirts of town. <laughs> My hometown. Yes, hello.
We go back to the mayor's office when their special friend Timmy shows up.
another man that died last week. That that baby child killed. Why, well, my father wasn't my father. No, it was a lie. Well, then who am I? My brother. But it's okay, okay? Sit down, we get through this, by the way. I Blue, the Blue, that sounds like something out of the Jungle Book. <laughs> what are you calling me an animal or something? I'm not an animal. I'm talking about me right now. This is about me right now. No, I don't like My that. life is affected, not yours. You still. I'm confused. Oh, it's okay. You're special. Sit down. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything, huh? I'm going to marry the rich man, Winston. You're married? I'm going well, to marry him and we're going to merge our companies. You know, they take off all the ice cream and then it's going to be one big ice festival. If we're no longer mother and son, that nullifies the, the will. That means we have nothing. Don't worry, that's why I take care of it. I'm going to marry that rich man so I take all his money. Get it? If he really loves you, if he's after the money and he finds out that the will is null and void, then that's it. That's why you must kill my shot. You say nothing to no one, or I will kill you. You kill me, I will kill you. That's right. I have blood on my hands, and it will be your blood if you don't listen to me. Does that make sense? Yes. Having seen George on the outskirts of the city, Dusty goes there to join him in his misery.
<laughs> I got some ammunition for your scheme. Yeah. As far fetched as it may sound. Oh, it's not My last that. visit, the mayor's office, I walked in and she's having an affair with my son, my son who's barely 17. Oh, that's illegal! <laughs> I we was can do something there. drunk, but not too drunk to snap a photo with my iPhone. That's great. <laughs> right before they cut it off. Because I haven't painted the while. <laughs> going crazy with her new funding, going around town, passing out money to random townsfolk, or cleaning up. He 
It's not a loser. He's my friend. Where is he? Fired. You, what do you mean? How could you fire Dusty? He brought over somebody from the other electronics store from Big Bell. What the hell was I supposed to do? And why are you questioning me? I'm the fucking manager. I'm you know, having a bad day! The last I saw him, he ran off crying. Uh, saying something about he's going to check his webcams for, for people who can identify him. <laughs> he's weird. Uh, he's with George Morgan! He's with George Morgan! So no purchase today. Awesome. <laughs> Randy's mathematical ability has given him an intuition beyond belief. <laughs> Bella is out on the town when she meets up with Stephanie, still handing out Winston's money. Winston is still trying to get in a phone call or a meeting or something. Listen, uh, oh, he's right behind. 
appointment in. Uh, he says he's got an appointment. Wants to talk to you. I was here two minutes ago, and <laughs> we're taking phone calls. You said we could meet him tonight. You want me to fuck him up, throw him out? I like doing that. Okay. Yeah. She said okay. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, the phone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go now, go now, yeah, go now. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for seeing me. I just want to tell you, well, thank you very much for the Raspberry Festival because it was a great event and we're happy to have won it. And if you could just... With all this scandal going on, Timmy still has to work a shift at the ice cream store. Sorry, I just got, I just got in the moment. 
We can, we'll, we'll, we'll push the mayor out and push you in. Your brother's gonna be gone, your little son's gonna be in jail, and oh. you'll be the mayor. Whoa, oh my god, did you? I've got one over here. Uh, we just broke up a week ago. Oh, no, that's, uh, that looks like they're That looks really like the Italian guy, but it's not. He's not in his room anymore. <laughs> That's why it's so scandalous. You saw it yourselves! Let's go back to the mayor's office, where Timmy and Cindy, the mayor, are getting it on. Winston finally gets his meeting. to take back the city, Dusty and George take over the Buy More store. We see them in costume, raiding and pillaging for all the camera equipment they'll need to build their secret lair, the Dust Cave. Cable. Cable. 
cable, all the cables in the bag. It's not George Morgan. This is not Dusty Remob. It is Dustling and Boy Numbers. True. Two rogue, two rogue agents from the People's Liberation Army. Yes. We're here to take back Little Valley. We're starting here in the, the Bybor. Where is the boss? Hey, what we the hell do you two think you're? We need access to the state. Dusty? No! No! <laughs> Dustwing! <laughs> and kid numbers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave the store. Bring us a cart so we may fill it with loot. Okay. Threaten him with something quick. Okay, you can either cooperate or you cannot cooperate. That's not it. <laughs> um, did you all think this out before you did this? No, not really. I mean, we just figured we got extra supplies. We, we were very emotional, and we just, we just went with it. Yeah, we just kind of rolled with it. Dusty, here's a $200 gift certificate. Oh, God, thank you. Well, we can just go in with this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Will Dustwing and Kit Numbers continue their rampage of Little Valley despite the tuna dollar income? Will Winston be a good and faithful man, steward of the city, or will he be an evil tyrant? Will Timmy be an evil tyrant? Will Stephanie Shambles get back together with George? No one will know until next week. Then another exciting episode of.